I'm not late. I have a test. Oh, yeah. So, were you, inf were you informed that you have a test? Yep. Um, okay, did, did Chiam tell you that you have, uh, did she tell you that it was gonna be a periodic test or final test? No, this is small. Sorry? It's a small test. Your English test, right? No. My class test, my Vietnamese test. Okay, okay, in your class, but not with me, right? Yep. Okay, okay, no problem. So let's get started with our class. Because based on my agenda, well, based on my agenda, I see that I don't have it. I don't have tests for today. But yeah, uh, I can see that within the upcoming classes, you do have a test, not now. Yep. Okay. So welcome to the class. How do you feel, Ben? Ben, I, I cannot see you. No. So welcome to the class. Today I have something very important. And I'm going to bring forward a topic that I know you may like. Oh, no, yes. You, uh, I know you are the kind of students that likes to talk about the future maybe you as a person think what is going to be about my future how is my future going to be what am i going to do in the future am i going to be a doctor or an astronaut i am going to go to the cyberspace am i going to travel the whole world so ones never know but what i know is that when it comes to the future we have to be ready. Give me a second. I'm afraid there is something I have to do here for you, Ben. Just a quick second, all right? Can you see me well? Yes. Okay. Something real quick. Yeah. It's just one second, all right? I'm gonna just clean it up. Okay. So you can see the glass, the, the glass of my webcam. Oh, look at the difference. I'm sure that you can see me better now, right? Yes. Oh, magic tricks. So let's get it started. Ben, can you be so kind and tell me what did we talk about in our previous lesson? We've talked about... Um, We've talked about things that we talk about. In our previous lesson, we were talking about, okay, we were talking about movies. Do you remember? It was pretty much- No, I hate movies. Yeah, it was the last part we talked about, all right? And we talked- We talked about- talk about yeah, we talk about the different types of movies 
that uh, we know, like science fiction, action movies, uh, scary movies. Sorry. Okay, action movies, different types of movies, right? So you told me that you're not that passionate when it comes to movies, but now we have a nice topic, right? Our topic is vision of the future. And let me ask you a question. I have a question for you. What is your vision of the future? What do you think about the future? What do you want to do in the, in the future? I want to be an astronaut. You want to become an astronaut, all right? And let me ask you something. What would you like to do in the future? I'm not saying only to be an astronaut, but something else you would like to do in the future. What will it be? What will it be? Hmm. An artist, maybe. I beg your pardon? An artist. Oh, an artist, all right. What kind of artist would you like to be? A plastic artist, a singer, a musician? When you say an artist, it is being diversified into different aspects of arts. Art, artist is anyone who deal with arts. So what kind of act, I, I mean, I'll draw. artist? I beg your pardon? A draw. A drawer, right? Yes. Or, or a painter? A drawer. A drawer, all right. Nice. So since you tell if since you tell me about something you watch to be in the future, so what we um we're gonna be talking about that right now. Let me share my screen to you. Let me show you. Vision of the future. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Clearly. It's hey, very. Is can you see exactly. it well? It's good. Yes, I can. Amazing. Uh, okay. Okay, but nothing. what can you see in the future? What can you see in the picture? I can see robots, I can see scientists, I can see alien. What? Okay. Alien. You can see robots. What else can you see? I can see aliens. Aliens, all right. What else? Uh, please turn it off. Okay. And what about this city? Flooded. Okay. No. Okay. I'm not uh, happy. Okay. So uh, you can see there are robots. You can see an alien. You can see a city that is uh, surrounded by water. All right. So like kind of like Venice. All right. It looks like Venice. All right. Yeah. So. And let me tell you something. What kind of robot is this one? So, uh, wait. It's a bartender. It's a bartender or, or maybe a waiter robot because there I can see that it has some pixels. And uh, it's like a bartender and waiter robot. Would you like to have one like this at home? No. <laughs> maybe a robot that helps you with your homework? Yes. Oh, nice, right? That will be nice. That will be great, all right? So let me ask you something. Which one do you think is the most likely to come through? And also, I would like you to give me the reasons. Which of, which of this, all right? Which of these pictures? Look at there. Look at there. So we have the number one that is a robot, the one that is an alien. Oh, the one that, uh, the city that is surrounded by water. I think that this one currently exists, exists, all right? 
um, which one is most likely to um to become real, right? In in a in a near future. I think I cannot listen to you, Ben. That'll be fun. Oh, Robert. Uh, do you do you know that actually during these current times there are robots who do a uh, role that play that role? Would you like to see it? Would you like to see this? Would you like to see this robot in real life? Yeah. Okay. Give me a second. I'm gonna. I am going to show you a video in which, well, obviously, obviously it's not like this, but there are robots like that. I seen it, I seen them in videos. Yeah. And I'm gonna show you something. Look at this. I am going to show you a sort of robot. Obviously it's not like this one, but it still is a robot. Look at this. I can't see it. Oh, just one second. It's low then. Okay. Um. Let me see. Can you see? No. Can you see it? No. All right, got it. Look at this, man. Now you will see it. Man? Email. I can't see it. Where is it? Look at this. I don't know what this is. Look at this. Wow. This is a cruise ship. Oh. Can you listen well? Yes. I can't see it. Oh. Can you listen? This is a no, cruise ship. No, I can't see it. Can you see? Oh. Okay. Can you can you listen well? Let me see. Okay, now it's fine. Now it's fine. You can listen well now. Check. You can use your you see? Look at this. It's a bartender and waiter robot. Obviously, this is they are not like the ones you see in the picture, but it was back in 2014. Maybe you were a little a little girl. And this is uh, in one of the cruise ship where I used to work. This is one and of the seas. Do you know what is a cruise ship? No. No. Yeah, this one is a bartender robot. No, 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 no. It's a free trailer. Okay. Look at this. stop it okay did you manage to see this robot Ben? now i have a did you see the robot ben uh, 
Okay, what is the difference between the robot in the video and the robot of the picture? I can't see the video, so I don't know what it is. Did you manage to see the video well? No, I can't even see it. You could not even see it? Not even just. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me just do something. Let me do something. I will be going back to, to the video. Do let me know if you can, because to me it's quite important. All right? Do let me know, please. Let, okay. So I'll be going back to the video. Do let me know if you can see it. In just six short weeks, we'll help you take your fitness to a whole new level. Getting a video of computer Rob making me a drink. <laughs> Dan, are you there? Yeah. Look at this. Oh. Can you see? That's amazing. Look at there. It's a bartender robot. Just to let me know if you can see with this well. I can't see it. Okay. It's a bartender robot, which means that this cruise industry, this cruise ship, one need bartenders or waiters in the in the, in that restaurant. I don't like change the color. Okay. But they're still using a plastic cup. Okay, now I'm going to ask you my question. Here's my question. What is the difference right, between this type of robot and the robot you see in the lesson? What is the difference? What do you think about it? So we are talking about future, but this robot, I remember back in 2014, many years ago, around seven years ago, maybe you were a little girl. So I remember that they, these robots were so popular. So, and we are talking about, about robot, robots in the future. Will they be more advanced, more sophisticated? What do you think about this robots and the ones we can see in the picture? What is your opinion? Hmm. No. Which one are more, which ones are more no. advanced? The human-like one. The the cyborg the cyber type. I don't know about it. The one in the picture, right? Yes. Nice. Let's continue. All right. <laughs> Let's continue. Okay, so this is what we are going to do now, Ban. Can you see well my screen? Yes, I can. Amazing. So um, please give me the books. I need the books. Okay, let me get you the link. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to show it to you the link, all right? The last time, let me ask you something. The last time, did I share the link to you? No. Oh, I forgot it. I'm sorry. Let me go get it for you, all right? Okay. Give me a second. I'm gonna do it right here. Will it be okay for you? Okay, that will be. 
Okay. Look at this. I'm gonna send you on the chat. Maybe you can down. Are you in a computer? I'm using a computer. Nice. So I will send it to you right here. Ban. Okay, now you go, you will go get it, right? Okay. Let me know if you got it. So here it is. Look at there, this one. It's loading now, all right? So I'm, I am going to proceed. So I'm just, uh, I just sent you the lessons we are working with now. It's gonna be type PowerPoint type, right? Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Well, I can't see it. No, it's loading now. It's loading. Now it's loading. You may be able to download it. So I'm going to share the audio. Do let me know if you can listen to this. What we are going to do now is to read the test. Oh, so when will my file arrive? Yeah, and we're going to answer this, these questions. Listen carefully, because I really want you to understand what... Uh, uh, but why is there a black rectangle in the screen? Mm. Can you, can you see the screen? I'm afraid that I'm not listening to you very well. It's kind yes, of okay. Now I can listen to you well. Yeah, now I'm right. Yeah, now I can listen to you well. But a few minutes before, I was having some issues to listen to your voice mm -hmm. well. Okay. Oh, and okay. Listen carefully. What I want you to do, I will play the audio. Uh, that rectangle appears again can you see it can you see my screen no there's a rectangle in the screen okay no problem so let me hear again so do let me know if you can see it now Can you see it now? Yes, now I can. Okay, yeah. just listen carefully because I want you to read and pay attention to the test. The first thing we, we are going to do is to listen and then we are going to read the information. After that, answer, all right, the questions of the test. Listen carefully. Right. Lesson 5 uh -huh. Exercise 2. Are you listening? 50 years on. Yes. Sir David King, David scientific King. advisor to the British government. This one. All right. If we don't reduce oh. carbon emissions, okay. the earth will become warmer, polar ice will melt, and the oceans will rise. Cities like London and New York will disappear under the water. Okay. By 2100, Antarctica could be the only continent that is suitable for human life. The rest of the world will be too hot. Francis Collins, geneticist. This one, Francis Collins. 50 years from now, millions of people will live past the age of 100 and remain healthy. This will happen because we'll be able to study each person's genetic code and find the best way to treat illnesses in that individual. In about 50 years' time, 
the most important question for our society might not be how long can humans live, but how long do we want to live? Okay. J. Richard Gott, physicist. Letter C. During the next 50 years, our planet might suffer a catastrophe. Humans could disappear, just like the dinosaurs and hundreds of other species. The best way to make humans safe from extinction is to start a colony on Mars. This is not a prediction, but a hope. Will we be smart enough to do it? Ellen Heber Katz, biologist. I believe that soon we will be able to repair the human body in the same way that we can replace damaged parts of a car or a washing machine. Five years from now, we will be able to grow new fingers and a few years after that, new arms and legs. Within 50 years, replacing your whole body will be normal. Peter Norvig, Director of Research at Google. Today, people all over the world have access to billions of pages of text on the Internet. Okay. At the moment, yes. they use search engines to find information, but 50 years from now, people will simply discuss their needs with their computer, and the computer will make suggestions and provide usable information, not just a list of links. Okay. Eric Horvitz, Principal Researcher Horvitz, at Microsoft right? Research. In 50 years' time, computers will be much more intelligent than today, and this will change people's lives. Computers will help people work, learn, plan, and decide. They will help people from different countries to understand each other by automatically translating from one language to another. Intelligent computers will work as scientists and will start to make important discoveries on their own. Okay, so here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Questions for you, Ben. Um, questions for you. First question, all right. Who do you think is the most optimistic? Do you understand the word optimistic? Your mic is mute. No. Okay. I don't know. Oh, you don't know what is the word optimistic. Optimistic, which means a person that think that something is going to happen is positive, that it will happen in real life. Which one do you think is the most optimistic? Which means... Mm. Which one of these people is the one that... The E one. The E one. Okay, you say letter E. Later, I'm going to check your answer. Okay, which of these people, based on the information you heard, all right, is the scariest? The scariest. Do you understand the word scariest? David. Sir, David. Oh, David. All right, David. Well done. And number three, the most likely to come true. The one that's most likely to come true is the E. e. Okay. No. That's my opinion. Okay, that's your opinion. So now, now let's check the answers, all right? So that's those are personal answers, all right? Well done. So now let's talk about reading a strategy, okay? Look at this band. Listen carefully. I am going to give you some tips, all right? Tips. Okay. 
when you are looking for a specific information in a test, when you are looking for a specific information in a test, reading the first sentence of a paragraph often tells you, often, not all the times, but often tells you what the whole paragraph is about. Example, example. Let's imagine you are reading something about Spider-Man. Spider-Man was a superhero. What do you think I'm gonna, uh, what do you think I may be talking about? Imagining. Oh, imagination, but what, what is Spider-Man? Who, I mean, who is Spider-Man? He's a man like a spider. All right, it's a man uh, that acts like a, an, uh, like a spider. And let me ask you this, uh, something. Where do you know Spider-Man from? America. America, but where in America? Was he, uh, was Spider-Man in a comedy? Was he in a television show, in a radio station, or in a movie? He's in a movie. In a movie. In a movie, that's right. And if you see, if you read something, for example, a test, let's say that there, there is a test written talking about Spider-Man and it says, uh, he was in an action movie. He was, mm -hmm. all right, like um, climbing the walls uh, as if he's in a spider, as, as if he's a spider. Oh. So what do you think I may be talking about, Van? Hmm? I'm gonna make it different. I'm gonna make it easier for you. Okay. Look at this. Okay, look at this. 50 years from now, million people 15, 50 years from now, millions of people will live, will live past the age of 100 and remain healthy. What do you Ooh. think this test is gonna be about? They will, they might live forever. They are talking about- uh, Their life. A long life, all right? A long life. A long life, a long life. Uh, and then, Van, let me ask you a question. How do you know this test, this test is talking about long life? How did you know that? Or how? Because yeah. I know that it was uh, this, the, this sentence. Do you think that the first sentence gives, uh, gives you an indication that it may be about um, long life? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Do you think I... this? What's your opinion? Yes or not? Yes. Okay, the first sentence but remember, often, often, which means it's very common, but it's not always going to be like that, All right? So okay. let's continue. Let's proceed to the next slide. Okay, look at this. So now let's go ahead. Um, let's continue with the exercise number, okay? Number three, all right? Okay. So uh, I don't know if you can read this well, but I would like you to read the exam strategy, then match the paragraph A and F with the predictions. What is a prediction? Prediction is something that you say, that you, a prediction is something you say that might happen in the future, 
but we are not sure whether it will happen and then it comes true or maybe it doesn't happen. But the thing is that a prediction is, most, is more common on things that may happen in the future. Clear with this? Yes. So now the activity is what I want you to do is to match array these things with their predictions. Listen carefully. We will be able to choose how long our life is. Which one do you think is the person that states uh, what is written uh, in number one? Hmm. Number one is, hmm. It will be how long our life is. We will be able to choose how long our life is. That's right. Well done. Number two, we will be able, we will be communicating directly with search engines as if they were people. So we already do that. Yeah. Which one matches with number two? This one. Sorry. <laughs> what? Okay. Number three. We will use computer to help us talk to people who do not speak our language. This one. Okay. So we will be able to get any new yeah. person. What we need first. Do you think about that? We will develop a new technology, maybe human race. Okay, you can highlight it. Some humans will have gone to life or another. Okay. So let's continue. Here it is. You have made contact with life in other parts on the galaxy. Are the crazy? Okay. So let's continue with the next exercise. Um, we will develop a new technology. We we will develop a new technology that will make the human race extinct. What is human? Human, like you and I. I am a human being. You are a human being. But the aliens are aliens. The robots are machines. The animal, the dog and the cat, they are animals. We are human. Okay. All right. So let's continue. Okay. Um, one second. I'm gonna delete all of this by myself. Some humans will have gone to live on another planet. What do you think about it? They are recently talking about that. Uh, uh, with... Okay. So we will have made contact. We will have made contact with live in order part of the galaxy. What do you think about that? And mm, the other part of the galaxy is... <laughs> Let's see. This one. Show me. Yes. You've already seen it. Are you sharing, my, are you sharing your screen? No. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay, so let me ask you something. Do you think we will have made contact with life in other parts of the galaxy? What's your opinion? This one. Okay, nice. 
we want we won't be living all right we won't be living in most of the areas of what's happened it's a white screen my me oh it's you okay it's yours you're the one uh using white screen let me oh. do something give me a second okay so we won't be able we won't be living in most of the areas we uh, we i mean we won't be able we won't be living i'm sorry in most areas we inhabit now this one okay show me well i cannot see it well i'm trying to look at it well Can you tell me with a number or with a letter? <laughs> I think you're closer. Okay. So can you tell, can you answer the question can to me, Ben? You will see it. Da, 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 da. Okay, no problem, no problem. Let's continue. Let's go on. Okay. This is a new okay. exercise. Yeah, this is the exercise number five. And we are going to complete the sentences with phrases from ex exercise number four. Okay, I want, I'm going to give you two minutes or maybe one minute. To you can do it right. Do you think you can do it right away? When poor country. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> when poorest countries. When poor country have disaster like. Blood blood. I'm blood. sorry. In poorer countries, suffer a catastrophe. Yeah. Or an earthquake yeah. causes enormous destruction. Okay, is it, it is possible. It's possible. Yes. Is it possible to treat illness without drugs? Using public transport helps to reduce carbon emission. Okay. Today, surgeon can replace damaged parts. Okay. I asked the university to provide information about their degree. Okay. It would be difficult to start a colony on the moon because there's no water. Okay. <laughs> Every nice. year, scientists make discoveries about our about our universe. Okay. That's uh, every year, scientists say this part again. Every year, scientists make discoveries about our universe. Okay, amazing. So look at this. So then your aims are good. So let's go to the next exercise. So now what I want you to do is to make three predictions, which means to say three things that may happen in the future, all right? About the world in 50 years time, you see the ideas below to help you, all right? To help you in some, uh, in some of the nouns and birds from exercise number four. I mean, exercise number six. Let's see. So you have the option to make six predictions, but in my case, I will only ask you for three. That thing is not gonna be like so difficult. So, but you can show, uh, you can come up with your ideas. Okay. Let me see. Three predictions, which means three things do you think may happen in the future? 
And then we're gonna listen to this and I'm sure that these predictions can help for- They might have another, buildings might have another level of floor. Okay, let me see another one. Hmm. I thought about education in space for children under 12 years old. May it happen? Okay, another one, the next one. And the transport. There might be teleport. There might be door that teleport you to everywhere you want. I'm not listening. I'm not listening well. I'm trying to kind of like repeat it again one more time. It's kind of like I'm doing an I'm doing my extra effort in the check your volume, please. Um, it looks it seems that either the connectivity or the the volume is too high, and it makes and it makes me not to understand well when you are talking. I'm trying like kind of like concentrate. But maybe the volume of the speaker is not working fine, or maybe just need to you just need to turn down the volume a little bit, and that'll be fine, all right? Because sometimes the voice bounces, but everything is fine. Okay, next one. What is the third one? Um. What did you just say? No, it's okay. Yeah, I want you to tell me the the third prediction. Okay. What is the third the third prediction? Hmm. Maybe something. Use one of these words. You can use one of them. Have you listened three of all my ideas? Okay, so let's continue. Well, then you haven't listened to me. I, I cannot listen to you well, Ben. I'm having issues with your audio. Let me see, it's breaking up now. Can you hear me well? Oh, is the connectivity, I see. Now, okay. That's, yes. Oh, wow. It's breaking up. Yes, I'm here now. Now I can listen to you better, all right? So I was gonna say to you, can you tell me another prediction using one of these words in exercise number five? Hmm, no. Can, we, can, can you use one of these words? Mày thầy lại hả? Yes. No. What are you even saying? So you can show up or you can come up with any idea that you have. For example, you can say for uh you can say Entertainment. I think in the future, entertainment is going to be different like now. So you can use your what? ideas. What is, um, oh. You know what is a prediction? No. 
A prediction oh. is when you refer about something that oh, oh, may happen. Let, let, let me talk about my prediction. Okay, let me see. And the, in 50 years, they will have education in space for children under 12 years old. Okay, nice. So let me give you a homework. Now that you understand the topic of predictions, remember that a prediction is something that refer is something that uh, is going to be forecast, all right? It's going that is uh, something that may be foretell and then happens in the future. But you are saying that beforehand, all right? So what I want you to do as a homework, so I'm gonna give you a homework, okay? okay. Okay. okay, so you are going to tell me about a prediction that you have for the future. Like, I think in the future, in the next in the next five years, I may be I may finish my high school, for example, for example. Oh, oh I think that in the future, my mom is going to buy a new car. That's a prediction. Why not? And maybe. A few days later, your mom gets a new car. But you're going to write about some predictions. That is going to be your homework. Let me write it here. OK. Let me just go to Zalo app. Homework. Oh, don't let me see that. Predictions. Oh in communication obviously that is communication because you're going to be interacting with all the people Come oh. wait you have many class scroll down please it's only five it's only two sentences oh no you have too many class could you scroll down a little bit? Look at there is so it's, it's, it's a piece of cake. Um, but can you scroll down? No, 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 that's not a lot. Let uh, me see you how many class that you teach. Ah, you refer on Zalo, right? Yep. Okay, yeah. So, Ben, can you tell me what did we learn today in this beautiful and We amazing... learned about, talk, we talk about futures. Future, okay. Talking about vision of the future. Let me tell you something. I have a question for you. What is a prediction? Something that might happen in the future. Okay, if I am going to use a verb to talk about prediction, what may be the best word to talk about predictions? Well, um, you say will? Yes, will. Will, will and what else? They will be something. Also, also may or might. Okay. Might, might, maybe could as well. Let me write it for you up here. All right. Just real may might for predictions and could all right those are the ones you can use for predictions so just take that just take this into account and then you will have good results for your homework you're gonna make some predictions in english and for the next class the very first thing I am going to ask you for is for your predictions. So be ready. Okay. So another thing, could you give me a certain example of a prediction just to make sure that you're going to be ready for the next class? Hmm. Example? In future, the cookies, they will not eat my mouth. Oh yeah, that's fine. If you want, you can write like, uh, well, obviously, some examples, all right? Then, then 
thank you so much for being in the class. See you in our next encounter. And I'll be checking your homework. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. Wish you all the best and see you in our next class. Goodbye, Ben. Bye. Give me the file of the next class. What will we learn? Oh, the next class is going to be, let me tell you. Did, uh, did you receive the material? Did you download? Yes. You can download. Uh, the, for the next class is going to be, let me see. Give me a second. Just hold on. Five. AMG. Five G. All right. Okay, 5G. Man, are you there? I'm here. 5G, all right? Just send me in the Zalo. I, I did. I did here on the chat. You can okay, call Bye bye. Bye. See no, you. No, no, I can't see it. All right, here. Send me okay. A okay, here. <laughs> Hmm. Could you I see it in the, in the chat? No, I can hmm. only see the here. Okay, no problem. Let me send it, send it to you on Zalo app. Okay, bye-bye. Have a happy time. Okay, you too.